Hi guys, as you probably guessed by the title of the video, it's already been a year since I started the channel. It's also been a year since I uploaded the first video. Since the 30th of April last year, 2019, you guys have been absolutely awesome to me. I've had no negativity. It's all been positive. So many subscribers so quick. So many likes, so much watch time. And I want to thank you all so much. It means so much to me. Um, I thought it'd be cool to do a little Collab, not collaboration, uh, put together all the other videos. So here's a quick run through of what's happened here so far. Thanks guys, love you. Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vape Mill. Um, I'm about to do our very first ever um, review. We're gonna hit on the Smock Nord. Uh, and I saw the volcano, and there were loads of people going, oh my God, that's crazy. Um, there were a lot of comments saying, oh, I tried that, I can't do it, or, um. Oh my gosh! It's so beautiful! I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, unedited, unscripted, just here's some samples. Hi guys, Harley from Vitamil. I just wanted to give you a quick demo on how to use my new bottle opener. People are like, oh, the mesh profile is beautiful, the flavour, the, the vapor is, oh, it's excellent. Well, I'm sorry, but I've been rebuilding for about six years now. And I, I used to get more flavor and vapor out of 20 watt VMO V4 than I do out of a mesh. I'm not a massive fan of Aspire due to uh, a tank guide that I really didn't like. However, I'll give it a go. Um, it's not all that bad. Today I'm reviewing the Water 4 Recurve. I'm not going to lie, first time I whipped it, I didn't like it. Uh, the taste were appalling. It really weren't my ting. They've also sent me some stickers, which I always appreciate. If anyone's got any stickers, feel free to send me some. They'll all go on a wall in the shop. I'm gonna do a quick battery wrap, unwrap tutorial. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vertmill, and today we're reviewing the Vupu Drag Nano Pod Kit. The revolver. First of all, when I opened it, I was really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. I thought I would get everything from it. But to be honest with you, I'm a bit disappointed. I am, and there's been a lot of pressure on this. Hi guys, it's Harley from Vetmill. Today we're reviewing the Rinko Mechman 2 28 watts mod. This review is a bit different to the others in regards that I usually start off not liking it and then become to like it. Well, this review, I loved it. And now I just like it. Let's see. Today we're reviewing the Lotus RTA by Hugs Vips. So far, well, not so far, I've actually really enjoyed using it. Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vitmill and we've got Kev, you know Kev. Alright, uh, today we're doing a flavour review on the Dober. Dober. We've got five of them and we've got three Lick Remixed. Today we're reviewing the Kaelin M by Vandivate. Should have got spec savers. Today we're doing a different kind of flavour review. I have also got a sick bucket. I can smell it. Cheddar! <coughs> Blue cheese. Cheese onion. Now I've got a little confession. As you may notice, I've just shown you an empty box. That's because I've lost it. In regards to the review, I'm still going to do a review. I'm just going to have to use my extra big one. My, my, my extra big one. My extra big one. I've got another system that everyone seems to say is great and I don't think it's all that good at all. This is the Lever Pod system by Lost Vape. Today we're reviewing the Heisentech Magico. It's quite a special review today because it's the first device that I liked when I opened it and still like after I've reviewed it. Smock Morph 219 kit. If there's any diehard Smock fans watching, if I were you, I'd stop watching now. Let's enjoy the Aspire K Light kit. Now, right, before we start, I've got a quick disclaimer. This product was sent to me free from EC Click. Great guys, great reviews, love the stuff. Now, I just want to inform you all when I first started doing these reviews, I promise you I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be brutal, and no BS. Um, and I assure you that's going to carry on. Unfortunately for me, this device is actually really good, so... 
So guys, this video I'm recording at the minute is by YouTube. We're doing a competition between the three max and Trista. It's car on fire. It is, ah. Uh. <laughs> Hey, look, that's Harley's car with a great big cloud of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Here is on the Volvo D1 disposable pods. And I'm telling you, they're amazing. But if, if you're going to go smart, no, that's it. I suggest you just go with pods. I really like the pods. And this, I'm not going to lie, for, for the mouth lung, I couldn't get any flavour at all. And I do put that strictly down to the airflow. Right, so we're going to recoil and rewick the Biden. I want to express that they're not designed to be rebuilt. Today we're reviewing the Snow Wolf Exilis or whatever it's called. The LED is quite bright, that's pretty much the best thing it's got going for it. Easy click. I've sent these for the purpose of a review. The disposable pods, 18 milligram. We're gonna do a quick review. I'm not gonna do the novel layout, I'm just gonna bang straight through the, the features and specs, what they claim and what they do. Check it out guys. Nihao, Washi, Harley, Lizo. Vitmo. Last week, Easy Click sent me the tag here. Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vitmo, and today we're reviewing the Stars Romeo kit. Pod system, really awesome at times, not so good at other aspects. has got a mini idea. My biggest downside is I looked at this and thought, oh wow, there's so much room, so much space. However, there is a hold back. The reducer, airflow, diffuser, and everything else is really thick and into the center, which means how my coils currently are is pretty much as wide and far to the edges as you can have them. The Vols all V2s. This week we're reviewing the Geek Vape Edges X. Z Lide, or Z Lide, as I'm pretty sure it's called, Tube by Inakin, the Suicide Mods Nightmare RDA. Quite a big RDA. My, kind, my brain kind of because if you're going to carry a big RDA, build big. And it's truly worked. The best build I had on it was the quad coiling, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, but the quad coil of flavour was surreal. I'd like to thank Easy Click for sending me the Fush Nano to review the Intake RTA by Old Vape. It's also a collab with Mike's Vape. The Schmoant Ballstar Baby. M O T I Moti. One. Morty One. The Proton Mini Express. I'm going to do a quick demo on how to fix the drag. Amnis 2 by E Leaf. Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vape and today we're reviewing the MD by Elvit. Hi guys, not sure if you heard that, but I was on the phone to Inakin because my podding's broke. <laughs> Vape anywhere. Pouches. Hey, right, so we're in Asda. We need some wrapping paper. Elevate. See if we get any funny looks. Right, here we go. The Ghoul RDA by Blitz Vapes. It's absolutely awesome. The flavor's impeccable. Today we're reviewing the GP3 by Smock. Reviewing <laughs> the Charon Baby by Schmoant. Before going to it, I need to ask, has anybody here, you, 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 yeah, you, have any of you watched the Battlestar Baby pod system review? Because if you have, this all sounds very familiar to you. And that's because, didn't really mention it in the written review to the last minute because I wanted to do it independently. 
but it is practically the same pod system. Hi guys, Harley from Vitmill. Today we're reviewing the Amulet Tra. It's a UL watch and it vapes. Aspire Revo Gem V3 Max disposable tank. That works out to be, quick math, about 1170 milliliter liquid. 1.1 litre. Now, this is going to be our, our usual. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below for a chance of winning all this e liquid. It the Noble RDA by Vaporgate. <laughs> the Mutant RDA. Squonker designed by Vendy Vape and Twisted 420. Let's do this. Today we're showing you how to rebuild a normal stock coil. Hi guys, I'm Hi from Vitnal and this is the Lost Vape Runner Review. Let's do this. Ball. The Voopoo. Is for the Cine X. Let's do this. Gems Axis Mag V8. It's a semi mech mod. It's 52 hours of live streaming. That means no breaks, no sleep, nothing in between. Just straight through 52 hours. Today we're looking at the Vaporesso Target PM80. Let's do this. 